Well guys, if you watched last video, you know we managed to tear up the 2020 Outlander. Um, we took it through a pond, took on a bunch of water, and got the clutch stuck, so to say. Um, I don't know if this is a common issue or if any of y'all have run into this issue, but this is the second time it's happened to us. Now it happened on Dakota's machine a while back, and then it happened to mine. Um, you know, at first when it happened to his, we were worried like, oh man, you know, we're going to have to take this back to the dealership to get it fixed. You know, is the clutch messed up or, you know, we didn't really know what happened. But through some research and some trial and error, we found a way to fix that issue. So if you're having an issue with your Can-Am to where the clutch won't engage, the machine won't pull, or the... Um, it just takes off on its own. You can't get into gear, grinding in gear, hard to shift. Um, the machine's actually pulling on its own as you're sitting there idling, um, or if it's dying, as soon as you put it in gear, it just dies. We were experiencing that too. Um, we've come up with a way and a few things to check. That way, you know, you guys can go through that process and make sure, you know, it's not something simple, kind of like what we found. Um, and you don't go spend, you know, several hundred dollars on a new clutch or, you know, possibly more than that, you know, taking it to a dealership to get fixed. So y'all enjoy today's video. I'm going to try to be thorough but quick because a lot of this technical stuff y'all may not basically i did get a head start here um i removed the side panel it's very simple to do you know under your instrument cluster here you have a screw that holds it in here it just kind of clips in and goes through here and then you have a clip in there on the front fender and a clip in here you can see it right back there on the rear fender um and there's also a clip here under the seat um once you get it off you've got a clamp here on your intake for your cvt um and here's your exhaust there's another clamp on it and it clamps on the cover um i've got the cover laying over there i've got to clean it um and there's 11 bolts they go around this thing i believe they're eight millimeters um and you pull those off there's a gasket in there be sure not to drop it to lose any of your bolts um and try not to damage your gasket coming out um so basically what happened in the last video is this clutch is designed to move in and out and it got mud packed into it and it couldn't disengage. Mine actually got stuck dis, uh, engaged and it wouldn't disengage. I've seen them get stuck disengaged and not be able to engage because of the mud that's in there and won't let it move. Um, so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to, uh, you know, take this apart, clean it, um, inspects a few a few things and get it all back together get it back on the back on the trails um so if if you're encountered an issue to where you know like i said previously um the machine's grinding going into gear dies when it goes into gear it's pulling itself at idle um or it just won't go here's a few things you can check before you know you take it to the dealership or you know, order a clutch, spend spend more money than you have to. Um, so once you get this cover off, you wanna check your belt, make sure it's in there. You know, it's not broke, it's not coming apart. Um, you know, just basically look for anything that might be out of place. You know, I've actually seen guys get rocks in here and it caused some pretty significant damage. Um, so to start out, we are going to remove the belt. And you see these three bolts here, one of them's threaded. And you're actually gonna thread a bolt into one of these holes. This one here. So you're gonna thread that in there and you know, it don't have to be this long. This just happened to be one I had that would work. Um, so you're gonna thread that in there until it stops. Take my stop. Just run that in. And as you can see, it's going to spread this secondary clutch. All right, and then once it spreads, you're gonna take your belt. It'd be kind of hard to do one-handed, but I think I can get it. And just kind of work it off. You know, you may have to spin it a little bit. There it goes, to get it off. But, uh, you know, it'll come off, just work with it. Um, so then you wanna check this belt out. Look for any grooves that maybe wore into it. Um, chips missing out of the teeth. Um, wear marks in the teeth. Um, I've actually seen, you know, these belts get a groove cut in them all down the center. 
from something getting in there, rotting getting in there. You know, check both sides, check the surface. You know, this belt's actually kind of dirty where that water and mud got in there. Um, you can actually wash these off, get the dirt and dust and debris off of them. So we'll do that in a second. Um, drop my socket. Um, so yeah, we're gonna clean that up and we'll get it put back on there. Um, the factory belts actually have a rotation mark. These 450s, they spin clockwise. So make sure your rotation goes back the same. You don't wanna get that backwards. Okay, so next you can pull this bolt back out. We don't need it in there right now. It'll be in the way. Let's see, to the side. Let's remove the primary clutch. Um, on the 450s, keep in mind, this is reverse threads. If you hammer on it, you know, typical lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, you're gonna end up breaking the bolt and that's, that's gonna be a bad time. So, remember, right is loose on this one, left is tightened. So, and be careful, this thing does have a spring behind it and it will spring off. Before you take this all the way off, there's something I want you guys to pay attention to. Back here is your sort of one-way bearing and sometimes it will sort of get stuck and try to come off with it. If you if it does that, you know, it will, uh, there's two little uh, pins with springs in them and they'll fall out and you'll have to find those when you gotta have them. So you're gonna finish pulling this off like so. Pull the bolt out. You've got a shim and a washer. So pull those out. Get those out of the way. And then your clutch will come off. Just like so. Pretty simple. All right, set that there. So this is your spring cup. This is what the spring actually sets in. And this is that one way I was talking about. Um, mine's actually freed up now. I've actually already took mine apart and got it freed back up, but I'm gonna kinda explain to you how I've done that. So I'm actually not gonna pull this off, but basically this got stuck and come out with the clutch. It's not supposed to. What had happened is a bunch of mud got caked up in here and it stuck to the clutch and that's why I wasn't letting it disengage. Same thing happened with the spring cup. So I had to take these out, clean all the mud up out of them. Um, I actually had to hammer them out of the clutch um, but I was able to get them free, get them cleaned up, and get them back in. It's working like it should now, but I want to do some more cleaning because, as you can tell, there's still a bunch of just dirt and junk in here. Um, so, like I said, um, just pay attention to this. If this does come out, there's a spring and two pins behind it. This is like your one-way bearing. It spins one way, not the other. It stops. So, you get your... Make sure you get your spring cup and your spring. We're gonna carry it over here. Hard to do, one hand. So we're gonna carry it over here. We've got a little cleaning area set up. You are gonna try to keep these as clean as possible. Dirt is not your friend here. So we're gonna flip this over. We'll show you how to you know, pretty much get this apart. This part here is gonna lift up and come off just like so. Flip it over. It's actually got rollers in it, and you can get dirt in them, and they'll stop up too. So, and if you get yours apart, and you notice, like, wait a minute, it's missing two. It's got one there, but not there. That's that's normal because if you look at your other part of your clutch, here's your weights. It's missing two weights. So that's just how Can-Am set them up from the factory. There's your spring cup. There's your spring. There's your two halves of your clutches. Um, another thing to check, this is the surface that the belt rides on. Mine is, is rough, let's just leave it at that. You can actually resurface these, take like an emery cloth and try to clean some of that up. Mine has a pretty good groove wore into it. Um, Can-Am would say that's not acceptable, has to be fixed, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. We're just gonna keep riding until it tears up. <laughs> so. Basically, what you're going to want to do is get any loose dirt, mud off of it, you know, just so, you know, you don't dirty your water up so fast. I've got some soapy water sitting here. Um, and pretty much, soak your parts. Soak your parts in soapy water. 
And I know these are supposed to be dry clutches. We're going to dry them later with compressed air. So soak them in there. Let it get some of that mud and caked up rubber from the belt off of it. And while that's soaking, we are going to work on taking off the so, second one. Hold it still. Well, what'd you know? I got a dead battery. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta get a battery. Let's try that one more time. So. That one is dead too, believe it or not. Wow. I have to charge batteries. Oh. Let's see what else we got over here. waiting on the uh, battery to charge on my other impact so did break out the half inch be careful with this guys uh, I've done this a time or two so I know not to hammer on this too much um, so if you use a half inch just be careful and when you take this off the spring under here is under a lot of tension and it will come off at you as you can see it extends out pretty far after you get the bolt loose so just be careful with your fingers don't lose any don't get none broken pull that out basically same thing here just a little different got a bolt here with a washer you've got spring big spring that's your helix and there's this little gear back here that actually sits inside of this helix like so and then there's a little little sprocket back here A little sprocket back here so uh just keep in mind this thing's pretty dirty as you can see a lot of material on there so this is why we're that's why we're cleaning it up here so uh, take this over here to where we're washing our parts at oh yeah look at all that dirt and mud that's caked up in there belt here look yeah, we gotta get all that off. I think I'm gonna go out there with the clutches off and probably just spray this out. I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll hurt nothing. Obviously, we got water in here before. But before I do that, I'm gonna pull this. This is upside. I'm gonna pull this off just so nothing happens to it. So, like I said, be careful. There they went. Let's see. I actually dropped one, so be ready because they're going to come out. Got them right there. That will slide off like that. I dropped one spring. That's what I'm talking about. Two little bitty pegs and two little bitty springs. <laughs> and you will lose them if you're not careful. You will lose them. Except it's right there out of the way. And those basically just uh. There's two little holes in this shaft, one on each side. They just go up in there. And this is that bearing I was telling you about. It's pretty clean. I spent a lot of time cleaning it. I'll go over it again. All right.
just take, I'm gonna spray this out. for you to see there's actually a hole that the spring sets into we'll put those in those so got a hole here slide that one in put another one on this side slide that one in now what you can kind of do is just kind of hold it with your two fingers and get you bearing and you're gonna have to kind of work with it there there we go and you eventually be able to get it on there it'll take a few times at first but you'll get it i promise <laughs> a little a little tricky but best way to do it is just hold it and then slide this up over like so I'll show you so remember we showed you earlier you got rollers on some rollers not on two you want to make sure the ones that ain't got rollers line up with the ones that ain't got weights so do that and it'll just it should slide right back over like that so then take your spring cup slide it on take your spring slide it on now this part's a little tricky um Hang in there, you'll get it. So slide this in there, slide your bolt in. And while you're pushing up on this, you have to start your bolt. Like that. A little tricky, but once you do it a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. Um, kind of push it back further up there that way we can just get some good threads on it there we go all right so now we need to tighten that down um look up your torque specs guys i don't know all of them for every machine off the top of my head i think this one's like 76 for the primary 44 for the secondary or no it could be 15 for the secondary, then 180 degrees. I don't know, they're all different, so just be sure to look them up for whatever machine you have. Now let's put the, the secondary. Secondary is gonna be a little tricky, because um, that spring, there's a lot of tension on that spring. A lot. Slide that back on there. And like I said, remember it's keyed to that crank. Have your bolt ready. And slide your clutch in. Well, it's easier to put the clutch on the, or the spring on the, on the clutch itself. Let's see if I can do this. Bear with me. Let's take some strength.
get it on there, double check, make sure your rotation's going the right way. And then you can take this bolt back out. Now you got your belt back on there. We are going to clean up the cover. I got it laying over here. It's full of mud. I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. It's gonna be a little bit of a process cleaning that up. But uh, I'm gonna clean that up and I'll get right so back. I went ahead and put the cover back on. Um, couldn't really film and do that at the same time. It's awkward getting it in there. Um, got 11 bolts. Make sure you get them all tight, get the gasket in there, don't get it pinched. Tighten up your two band clamps uh, on the intake and exhaust. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is this plug right here on this. Um, I got mine over here. There's supposed to be little tabs that stick off on the side of the thing that hold it in there. As you can see, a little focus, mine are broke. I almost didn't realize that. I went to put it in there and it fell out. Um, so pay attention to that. I'd hate for somebody to put their plug in and them be broke and it fall right back out and they hit a, hit a water hole and fill it slap up. Um, but for now, let's go on a test ride and see if she's acting any All right, seems to be acting better. Lean dining gear, name trying to pull itself. So that's going to do it for today. Um, got everything back together. Went on a test ride around the yard. It's doing perfect. Plenty of power. Um, you know, this is definitely something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Um, you know, we put these bikes and machines through a lot. Um, you know, I think that's actually a service that Can-Am recommends that you do is actually take that out and clean it every so often to prevent that from happening. Um, you know, if, if y'all see anything that y'all want more information on or uh, anything like that, drop it in the comments. I'll try to figure it out and tell you about it. But uh, all in all, you know, it's not bad. It wasn't, it wasn't that hard. And uh, if this happened to you, you know, uh, drop it in the comments. I want to know, you know, how many people this has actually happened to. Um, because, you know, like I said, when it first happened to us, we were thinking the clutch went bad. And we're like, oh, man, that clutch is going to be expensive. And we didn't really know what was going on until we got it open and seeing that all that mud was in there. And that was what was causing it. Um, but until then, hope you all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. We're dropping part two to the other video um, soon, um, probably tomorrow. I'm not really sure. It just depends on how fast I can get it uploaded and edited. Um, but until then, y'all stay blessed.